Hey guys, we're here at Salishian College in Selbridge to surprise a very special person. Yes, inside is a young man by the name of Owen Condon. He is our everyday hero and he's the winner of the People of the Year Award. So we go in and have a look and see if we can find him. Let's go get him. We're looking for Owen Condon. So, yeah. Everyone likes to think that if they found themselves in a situation where they could save someone's life with CPR, they would. 17-year-old Owen Condon had the courage to do this not once but twice, cementing his status as an extraordinary everyday hero. It all started on a cold winter's morning in 2013. November 9th last year, I went to the petrol station, bending down to pick up the paper and apparently I dropped. My next recollection was I woke up and in the Matter Hospital with my daughter looking down and looking down at me and totally confused when I asked her where, she, where I was and she told me that I was out there having a massive heart attack. But it turned out that Jerry O'Connell was in luck that day. A young chap, washing cars that Saturday morning, jumped to my rescue. It transpired that uh, Owen uh, applied CPR continuously for seven minutes until the ambulance arrived. Owen Condon's brave intervention turned out to be a life-saving one for Jerry. My surgeon confirmed to me, but for the 17-year-old lad in the petrol station, I wouldn't be here either. So, I have no doubt, Owen, Owen Condon, excuse me, saved my life in those seven minutes. I was told that Owen had been involved in a resuscitation in the garage. I was absolutely shocked. And I suppose my initial reaction was, oh no, not poor Owen, not again. Four months earlier, Owen and some of his friends were swimming in the River Liffey when one of them got into difficulty. Owen used CPR to keep his friend alive until an ambulance arrived. But unfortunately, his friend didn't survive. Initially, you found it very difficult to understand how somebody so young, something so awful could happen to him on such a fun day out and to come to terms with it. He, he did struggle with it in the beginning. He was really, really sad. He, uh, he visited Abby's grave a lot and they all did, all the boys did. The kid had the courage a couple of months after that dramatic incident to help a stranger lying prostate in a petrol station. You've been nominated as an everyday hero at the People of the Year Awards 2014. Very good. <laughs> what Owen did on that day was deal with what he got. Owen, I'm really, really proud of you. Good man. I'm <laughs> Because of Owen's swift action, the O'Connell family had more than one reason to celebrate their daughter's wedding day. Her one daughter, she would have only had one chance for her father to walk her down the aisle. Owen Condon's name is all over that photograph. Owen Condon made that happen for his family. To do what he did for me so quickly after his own friend dying in his arms is outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winner of the Everyday Hero Award, Owen Condon. Zone. I have another mic here, don't worry about it. He pulled his mic off as he got up. Live TV folks, isn't it great? Are you more mortified now than you were when Nikki and Jenny walked in? Oh no, I'm a bit settled down now. Sorry. Uh, you're over it. Yeah. It's a nice bit of red lipstick on your face, just to let you know. Thanks, Mammy. <laughs> Thanks, Mammy. <laughs> Do you remember what you did when that all happened? 
Um, I suppose, like, not really in the spur of the moment, it's just adrenaline rushing. Just, you don't really realise what you've actually, actually done. I, personally, I didn't realise for like a few weeks after I went to Jared's house and just so he met his family and it just what it actually meant to them. And yeah, no, it's just surreal and just words can't describe it really. And you want to dedicate this award yeah. to someone, don't you? Yeah, I just. Um, I'd just like to dedicate this award to the memory of my uh, friend Abby who passed away during summer 2013. Just rest in peace.